Hello everyone, today I will be reviewing my Waterman's Ideal 52 in the Red Ripple material. So this pen has a 14 karat flexible nib. I This is pretty close to a Waterman wet noodle nib. The pen has a, a, red, a Red Ripple Ebonite feed and the pen itself is made out of Red Ripple Ebonite. It is a lever fill pen with the clear imprints in it and it was restored by Jim Bayer over at, uh, what's the name for it, uh, uh, JB Vintage Pen, I'll just say. Um, and this pen has a really, really nice imprints on it. There's the Waterman's Ideal regular U.S. Patent Office registered fountain pen, Ripple. The Ripple stands for the Red Ripple material. You commonly see these pens in. On the, on the, close to the bottom, you will see the, another marking. And on the bottom, this is how you tell the model of the pen. As you can see, it says 52. So this has gold trim, it has a clip, and a singular cap band here, and a gold-plated lever box. So to uncap the pen, it is one, it's about one rotation, and this pen has a, a decent size nib. This is a number two size nib, as you can hear in the name, in the model, Waterman's 52. And it has that nice feed, as I said earlier. But what generally happens with these pens is they get UV damage. But as you can see, this pen has very little UV discoloration on the Ebonite, aka hard rubber. So it has it has some brassing on the clip. It's a little, little worn out. But by telling off the clip in this design, this pen could be dated from... 1928 to 1930, and it's made in New York. Now, here's the writing sample for my Waterman 52 Red Ripple Wet Noodle Nib. This is a Watcherman. Fifty two. So Waterman's ideal fifty two. It has a fourteen carat gold nib, and in regard to flex, has a good amount of flex and has grading flow. For I'd say a fine tip on this flex nib is amazing. In regard to wetness. a fairly wet pen and reverse writing is extremely scratchy but here is the ink that I'm using this is Watcherman Mysterious blue. And that wraps up t this week's or this review. 
My name is Bruce, and thanks for watching.